Hey there, let me ask you a question. Are you always filling up everyone else's bucket? Here's what I mean by that. Teacher comes in, she needs something from you. You dash and you take care of her. Bucket filled, check for the teacher. A parent walked in, they had a question about their child. You answered their question, you tended to their fears. Bucket filled, check for the parent. And all day, you as the school leader are running around the building or on the phone or through your email and computer, and you are filling everyone else's buckets. You're constantly pouring into other people, which is amazing because yes, you are the school leader and you do have a responsibility to take care of all the people that are in your school. But some of you might be thinking, who's filling my bucket? Who's pouring into me? I know that a lot of you might feel exhausted, completely depleted and drained because after running around and taking care of people, it's only sustainable for so long. It's not something that you can play the game long-term if you're always pouring into everybody else and never pouring into yourself. Hi, I'm Connie Wolchansky, mama of four and creator of the School of Excellence system. And I'm on a mission to help early childhood leaders build and sustain schools of excellence. So if you wanna create a collaborative culture, build efficient systems in your school, and design an environment that can grow your team, then you're in the right place. In the last 15 years that I've been working in the early childhood field, I've become deeply passionate of helping leaders with their mindset, their skills, the tools, and the strategies to build their schools. So each week, I'll share strategies, advice, coaching, and inspiring interviews. I know that you want to create a ripple effect in your school and your life. So let's do this together. So one of the questions I get a lot from leaders is, well, that's a really great idea, Hani, in theory, but how do I actually fill my own bucket? I love this question. So today I have an exercise for you. I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pen, and I want you to start by writing down five things that bring you joy, five things that make you happy not anybody else, not any of your teachers, not your partner, not anybody. What makes you happy? So I'm going to share with you just a couple of mine that fill my own bucket and make me happy. And again, these are simple things. We're not talking about taking a massive vacation to Mexico or flying to Europe. Like those are wonderful things. And they're definitely things that can make people happy, but we need to look at the small things that can fill your bucket every day because every day you're not going on vacation. So for me, one of the things that bring me joy is drinking a hot cup of coffee, delicious hot coffee and drinking it to the last drop while it's hot, which means I do not drink coffee when my kids are awake. Why? Because for those of you that are moms or you work in childcare, you know how it works with kids. If you start drinking your coffee within a half hour, it's iced coffee, girlfriend. And that is not fun for me unless I made a nice coffee. So one of the things that bring me joy is actually waking up earlier to enjoy my coffee without anyone running in between my legs. That is the first thing that brings me joy. Something else that brings me joy is actually just going out for breakfast. I love actually brunch. I love going out for brunch with my friends, with my husband, whoever it is. I really, really enjoy that. And those are things that bring me joy. Another thing that brings me joy is just reading a book. I love to read. I love to learn. And so sitting down, cuddling up on a couch and just reading a book is something that really fills my bucket. Now, just from these three things that I shared with you, they're not things that take a lot of time. Drinking coffee, going out for brunch, sitting and reading a book. But they're things that actually make me happy and fill my bucket and bring me joy. Because here's something to remember as the school leader. You are responsible for your own happiness. Now, this is true in any part of life, right? Your spouse is not responsible for your happiness. Your kids are not responsible for your happiness. No one is. You are a grown up. And so you are responsible for your own happiness. Now, it sounds a little bit like, oh my gosh, whoa, that means I have so much more responsibility. Yeah, you kind of do when you're the school leader. And so we need to be thinking about ways that bring us joy. So your exercise for today is pull out a piece of paper and write down five things that bring you joy. 
anything. It could be the smallest thing. Walking around the block, walk around the school building, um, you know, eating lunch with your door closed, walking the hallway to get to the bathroom without getting interrupted a thousand times. Like these are things that actually bring us joy. So I want you to start with that exercise first. Now, here's something to remember when you look at your list. Your list is going to constantly be evolving and growing because here's a little secret. What brought you joy when you were 18 doesn't bring you joy when you're 30. And what brings you joy when you're 30 doesn't bring you joy when you're 50. And that's fine. You're in a different phase of life, right? One of the things that bring me joy is actually just sitting on the floor and playing with my kids. I don't know if that's going to bring me joy when they're 17, 18, and 19. Playing on the floor ain't so much fun when you're a teenager, right? So Things that bring you joy will evolve and change. The point of this exercise is to start bringing that front and center to you. The goal of the exercise is just to get started. So for today's ripple effect challenge, I want you to download the PDF that we have below on how to fill your own bucket. In that PDF, we have some breakdowns, just like I shared with you in the video, that'll make it easier for you to do this exercise. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe using the bell so that you get notifications when we release videos twice a week.